to get this cap off, put your screw over in there, pull it back a little bit, give it a little bit of space, put your screw over in I've got a bit of cloth on there to stop it damaging the cap, and then it'll just prise off. The cal this is the caliber. At the back here, you've got two screws. There's one here, and there's one there. If you loosen those off, the bottom one, loosen all the way off, the top one, just loosen a little bit. Another thing as well, when you when you um, before you take the wheel off, before you jack the car, always loosen the wheel nuts off first before you jack it up, otherwise they're rocking. Right, then knocking you off the jack. No, just get it. A little. I might just slide straight up, and this one's going to come straight up. As you can see, it's coming up. That's because this has been off before. I've had this off before. This one. And that just wants to slide straight up like that. That's your caliber. And I'm going to move back like that, and these are your pads just here. If this doesn't come straight out, sometimes you mean it to get a cloth and just, sometimes just a bit of wiggling will do, but if it doesn't, also those bolts that I took out earlier on, these bolts here, this bolt here, sometimes it's a good idea to, to, to um, rub them off with a wire brush and that'll make it easy to get them out as well, you get a better grip with your with your socket set. Um, but if these pads are stuck, Sometimes you get a cloth. Make sure you put a cloth on because you don't want to you don't want to scow scow your, your your mark your disc. You don't want to mark that. So you know if it's this, mines are okay because mines already been out once. Uh, but you can put a, a screw over down there like that and just gently just ease them out if they're not going to come out. Just like that, very very gently. Just make sure the screw is pushed through the cloth because um, you don't want to you don't want to mark your disc. Okay, and then to put your your pads back in again. This is the moment of truth actually, to see if my pads are actually the right ones. These are the pads I've gotten. They're the ones that you need, I think. We hope. Hello. They're going to work, don't they, do you think? Mm -hmm. They look like they're going to be the right size. Yep. Okay. So what? Never even looked at before, look at this So they're, they're your replacement pads. Mine aren't too badly worn, but you can see there's a little bit of difference there. So your new pads should, in theory, should slot back in again. The, the ones came out of, like so. Just bear in mind, obviously, that this piston might have to be pushed back in a little bit to go over the size of these pads because these pads are a lot wider than what the other ones were. Now, if the piston is sticking out a little bit, I mean, mine have wound it in already, but what you could do is get yourself a block, and I use a clamp like that. And basically, put it on the back of there like that. We can see that. Okay, and then, as you wind that, I can't do this because I've got one hand at the moment. As you wind that in, that'll push the piston back into position. Okay, so then you can get your caliper over the top of your brake pads. Alright, otherwise it might be a bit of a squeeze to get it over. That should get it work on that, but that should then go over. I'm going to have to work a little bit now. That's it, that's it. it's gone over there now. That's it. Okay, it's just, just so. Just so the piston can the, the caliper can fit over the top of your new brake pads because your brake pads are that little bit more thicker than the brake pads that were on. You know, there's a bit of a difference between them. If you look here, like I said before, I'll show you here. If I get out the package. You know, that's a new one. Yeah, and that's an old one. So obviously there's a difference. The piston the piston's been coming out a certain distance obviously to push that that pad against the disc. Okay, so you need to then push that piston back in again 
to get your color back back on again okay so that there uh, that piston has to be pushed pushed back in again and the easy way of doing it because there's quite a bit of force behind there is with a clamp and you can't get proper tools I do want a proper tool like a wind-in tool but this is just it does the job just as well I'll put it on the back of there with a little bit of wood on the back to stop it damaging the back of the, the piston chamber there a little bit of wood on the front okay so I have a little bit of wood up against it like that okay and I can't really do it properly because it's only got one hand that on the back like that and then wind that in wind it in just gently and I'll just push it in just a little bit enough so then you can put the caliber back over the top of the pads okay. okay and then it's just the same thing for the back pad um, again you might have to tap it out you might have to work it out it, hopefully I just going to cut them off because I've already done it so it's going to come out all right I think he says I'll get the screw over in there because that's a bit stuck. Okay, and then your next part into there. And then that just slots in the back. This is more fiddly one because you can't really see what you're doing. It should just sign it's gone straight in there. I know last time it was a bit fiddly. 